All right, what's going on, Giants fans? Got some injury news on Daniel Jones. Ian Rappaport tweeted it out. Let's go through it. Giants QB Daniel Jones underwent tests on his hamstring today, and sources say he did avoid major injury. He has an outsized chance at playing Sunday, though they'll know more if he's able to get on the field and test in a few days. New York Giants will have plans with Jones and without him. So, Jordan Rana, Patricia Chana, Schwartz, all the beat reporters have basically been hinting and saying, like, hey, he's probably going to miss this Seattle game, which is okay. And honestly, big picture, it's gl- thankfully it's not anything serious, you know. Just because, you know, we, you know, Twitter doctors, like, these random people who, like, like are, like, giving out injury diagnosis, by the way, through the internet, aggravate me to all hell. Like, what, what, what do you know? What do you know? You're just, you're literally watching it on TV. Anyways, glad it's not serious. Glad he doesn't have to spend an offseason rehabbing. Um, but he's probably going to be out versus Seattle. But it seems to be, with that news, that he may be back the week after. He may be back the week after. And honestly, this kid is tough as nails. He he broke his collarbone at Duke. And he was back. He missed two games. He was back in three weeks. Um, he, you know, And they had that part of that was a bye week. Um, so he was back in three weeks playing a game. And if you remember that game, he came back, Virginia Tech. I th- that season, I think it was his longest air yard pass, where it was like 61 yards, and he did it while getting lit up. I mean, I mean, just getting crushed in 61 air yards. Um, so he wasn't he wasn't playing afraid uh, with that shoulder uh, in, in that game. So he's tough as nails. I mean, he tried to come back. He, he threw a third down, laced it in, all arm, couldn't even use his legs. Um, tried to come back in the game. He, kid's tough as nails. So. For all the people saying like, oh, we should just take time, take as much time until it's perfectly healed. It probably won't perfectly heal this year. He probably will be playing with it, but at least it's not serious. Um, and he, 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 players want to play. You know what I'm saying? Like, just because you know we want everything to be perfect, players want to play. He's going to come back and play. Um, and honestly, the Seahawks game, the Ravens game, and the Arizona game, everyone's been talking about those three games. Which one could you steal from? Arizona has always been that one for me anyways. Um, and more so because of our defense. I think James Bradbury can handle DeAndre Hopkins. That offense runs through Hopkins a ton. Um, and Kyler, while he's been very good this year, he hasn't been just like picking apart defenses. It's been very, it's been some design stuff. Um, so I think Patrick Graham could have something and force them into some mistakes. So if there was a game that he uh, to be, that we need Daniel Jones, it's that Arizona game. Like I don't think the Ravens are they're beatable. Any team in the NFL is beatable. But out of those three, Arizona was always the game for me. So hopefully he'll be back for that one. We will need him. We do need him. He's been playing really well of his late. I mean, you'll see in the third down video, he has been excellent on third down this past, you know, four to six weeks, honestly. Uh, so get better, Daniel Jones. That being said, what do the Giants going for? Well, Colt McCoy will be the starter. He will be the starter as, as long as Daniel Jones is not playing. They're not going to bring someone else and elevate him, or they're not going to elevate the practice squad over Colt McCoy like the Bengals did this week with Brandon Allen. So Colt McCoy will be the star. Well, Colt McCoy, who is Colt McCoy? Well, we all know him from his Texas days. Um, quick synopsis of his NFL career. Been in the league for a long time, 34 years old, uh, 6'1", 212. Those Texas days were awesome. You know, you had Colt McCoy, Sam Darnold, Graham Harrell, the Texas, Graham Harrell and Michael Crabtree. Anyways, last season he had one start. It was versus New England. And we all know how good that New England defense was. In fact, I think it was the game after the Giants game when Haskins came in. Uh, he went 18 for 27 in that game. 122 yards, zero touchdowns, one interception, six sacks. Not very good, but it is against a defense that... You remember like Daniel Jones was the only QB to throw a touchdown versus the Patriots for like eight weeks or something like that? So it was against that team. In 2018, he came in for in, in relief for Alex Smith when he broke his leg. Remember that? Remember when he broke his leg? Uh, so he, he had three games, one was replacing Alex Smith, one full game as a starter, and then he got hurt himself where only had four passes. Um, in that game where his full game was on Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving, you, if you guys haven't said something you're thankful for, say something you're thankful for, uh, they lost 23-31 to to the Cowboys, 24-38, 268 yards, two touchdowns, three interceptions. So Cole McCoy is a capable backup. That's what he's brought to be brought in to be. He is a capable backup. You don't go like if it was if we were playing the Bengals this week, basically, and even even if the Bengals had Joe Burrow and Colt McCoy as your starter, you could convince yourself like, hey, if we do the right things, Colt McCoy doesn't make mistakes, make maybe one, two deep throws, we can win that game. 
the Seahawks is a different. I mean, Seahawks have been a, you know it's a different story even with Daniel Jones. Um, so Colt McCoy is capable. He will be the starter as long as Daniel Jones isn't. Now behind that, on the practice squad, the Giants have Clayton Thorson, who was out of Northwestern, was a fifth round pick for the Eagles last year in 2019. The Eagles took uh, picked this guy in the fifth round. Um, I actually waiting for this news. I went and watched uh, Clayton Thorson's preseason game versus the Jets last year, where they lost zero to six. And he was horrible. I mean, he was 12 for 26, 84 yards, zero touchdowns, one interception. And his college numbers aren't that inspiring either. His last two years at Northwestern, he was uh, completed 60.7% of his passes, 6.5 yards per attempt, and then 32 touchdowns and 27 interceptions. Like, the yards per attempt, like completion percentage, that kind of stuff can be, like sometimes that doesn't tell the story, but 32 touchdowns and 27 interceptions, it's kind of weird, but also I don't want to judge him by his stats. But I just, you're not inspired him. And by the way, this is why you should never, you should only, I, and I people get at me for this, but I'm a big believer that you either draft a QB in the first round or you don't draft one at all. Because you sign backups. Backups get signed, not drafted. Colt McCoy, perfect example. He's signed. You, if you believe in a QB, you draft him in the first round. If you don't believe he's worthy of the first round pick, he's not worthy of being drafted. I know there's outliers out there like Tom Brady. But look at look at the NFL. It's first round picks. The successful guys are first round picks, and I know we're playing against Russell Wilson, third rounder. So it's not a perfect science, but for the most part, is what I'm saying. Look at Davis Webb and Kyle Ledletta. How about that? Don't po- don't point out Russell Wilson. Point out the 99.9 percent of guys that don't work. So that being said, I don't know if I feel comfortable with this guy being our backup. Um, the connection with the Giants and why he was brought into the Giants is he spent the practice squad of all 2019 with the Dallas Cowboys and Jason Garrett. That's why he's on the roster, uh, because of Jason Garrett, because uh, the Eagles cut him. The Eagles took a fifth-round pick on, used him a fifth-round pick on, and then cut him. So that's why he's on the team. I don't know if they, if he's a capable backup. So who would that mean? Well, now, because it's only one week, I don't expect him to sign anybody, because that guy won't even really get in until like Thursday or Friday with the COVID rules. But why not bring back Alex Tanny? Like, I, I would rather have Alex Tanny on the practice squad than this Clayton Thorson guy. What's the point of keeping Clayton Thorson around? I would rather have Alex Tanny. Um, who is Alex Tanny? Well, he's the New York Giants all-time leader in completion percentage. No, we, we joke about Tanny. I actually like Tanny, though. Tanny would be a good backup. He knows this team. Um, he's been with it for the last two years. I get it's a different coaching staff, but he's been with this team for the last two years. He knows this receivers. He knows Daniel Jones. I honestly... Think he should be the third guy on, on the practice squad over Clayton Thorson, anyways. And Alex Tanny's ready and ready to go. Um, so I would bring Tanny in regardless over this Clayton Thorson and let this be like a hey, Jones is an indestructible. We need a backup. I mean, and look at Colt McCoy. Colt McCoy came in as a backup for Alex Smith and then got hurt himself in 2018. So it's not the craziest thing to be using your third quarterback. Um, other options, there's really not any, but if there was somebody you wanted to go younger besides Tanny, Steve Montez uh, out of Colorado. He's a rookie. He's on the Washington practice squad. I actually I watched one game in Colorado last year, and I just kind of liked his playing style. Um, they could bring in Case Cookus, who was on the Giants. He's an undrafted free agent. They cut him like right away to start camp out of Northern Arizona. I don't see that happening. If that were to happen, they would have him over um, Thorson. What about Kyle, Kyle Shermer? Can we bring in Kyle old Pat's Pat's son? Uh, I'm sure he's heard a lot about you know the ways to use these offensive weapons. That probably won't happen. Eli Manning, bring Eli Manning out of retirement? No, that that probably won't happen. So basically, it's Clayton Thorson and Alex Tanny. Colt McCoy will start. Daniel Jones, get healthy, man. We need you. We need you. We're we're in first place. We're going for first place. We're trying to win this division. Hell, we're gonna win some playoff games, and we're gonna need Daniel Jones to do that. He's been playing well as of late. The Tampa game was a low mo. He's been playing well since. Been pushing the ball downfield. He's been taking control of the pre-snap of the offense. Been some good stuff. So Daniel Jones, we need you. We need you back. And he's going to play through a little bit of injury, guys. I know we would like everyone to be perfectly healthy. F- for him to come back, he will play through a little bit of an injury. Well, we won't run him as much. Daniel Jones, get healthy. You're the guy. We think you. I think you can be the franchise QB. Some people don't. I do. Get re- get well, Daniel Jones. And let's go Big Blue. If you like the video, subscribe, like, do all that good stuff. I have the O-line report out tomorrow um, around 11 or so. And then the Daniel Jones third down video where he'll 9 of 10, 150 yards. So check out all that stuff. Check out the pod, all that good stuff. 
Appreciate you guys. Let's go Big Blue.